Let's bring in our panel tonight, Laura Flanders, author of The Blue Grits and host of GritTV.org. Also, E.B. Stoddard, associate editor of The Hill. And Heidi Harris joins us tonight, host of The Heidi Harris Show on 720 KDWN in Las Vegas. Laura, what do you make of this? I don't know about the detainees. I want to get Dick Cheney out of my backyard. <laughs> well, I mean, how did this happen? There's no question. You're right. The, the people voted. The intentions are clear. The details are where the issues are. We need to get off this Cheney right-wing talking points and get to work. Frankly, I don't know why we're broadcasting his speeches in live time. Um, we never broadcast Al Gore's when Bush became president. Well, is he relevant? I think that this is really playing according to a right-wing talking point, you know, notebook that is not doing this country any good. We've got serious stuff to deal with. We need to get off their talking points. A.B., does he deserve the coverage that he's getting? What do you think on this? You know, I actually agree it was a little unseemly to watch him wait until the president finished, long past his scheduled um, start time over at the American Enterprise Institute, wait and then make a joke about the president. Um, obviously, he mocked him. At times, he was sort of insulting. Um, but actually, I thought that his speech was forceful, and it actually could have a sort of a potent effect. Um, he is answering. People are still very scared about the threat that we continue to face and will continue to face. And he's stoking that anxiety. And um, we will see there is recent polling that shows that President Obama has managed to sort of erode the doubts people have about his ability to take care of us um, with regard to our security. But we will see um, after this Gitmo explosion in the Congress uh, and how much the Republicans have moved the debate whether Cheney was, was heard today. Now, the president, I thought, was very effective today. And we've had this conversation break out across America. You certainly don't want these terrorists in your backyard. I mean, this has reached the Senate floor. This is Senator John Thune on the floor not long ago, really scaring America. It's just not Dick Cheney. This administration is seriously considering freeing these men inside the United States, and most outrageous of all, paying them to live freely within American communities and neighborhoods. The American people don't want these men walking the streets of America's neighborhoods. Mr. President, the American people don't want these, don't want these detainees held at a military base or a federal prison in their backyard either. Heidi Harris, do you agree with that, Senator Thune? I'm so glad he beat Tom Daschle. I'm so proud of him. Listen, I don't want these people loose. They don't need to be on American soil. And if they come here, some ACLU lawyer will find some way that they can get out of jail. I don't want the risk. What's the benefit to America, really, Ed, of bringing these people to America? Their own countries don't want them. Why should we take them? I think their own countries well, for know justice, more than we do. Well, for justice, Heidi, I would want that for justice. Laura, what are the National Prison Guards Associations in this country making of what is happening in this country right now? I expect to see the corrections associations, unions speaking out. Who do you think we are? What kind of job do you think we're doing? How come you don't believe the statistics that supermax prisons have not seen any escapes? Is it just fine to have Timothy McVeigh detained, but we couldn't have anybody else? This is bullshit. Maloney. This is those talking points. Heidi, what about the immigration laws? They're not going to get turned on the street if they go through the justice uh, judicial yeah. system and they're found innocent. They're going to be turned back to their countries. They're not going to be on the street selling ice cream. You know what? I don't know, Ed. I would like to think so, but you know what? The, the reality is some liberal lawyer is going to try to get them off the hook. I'm not talking about them escaping. Well, they deserve a defense, don't they? They, they, they? they certainly deserve a defense, something that the Bush administration hasn't given them habeas corpus. But the, the fact is that the, the conservatives, A.B., uh, they're making the case that, hey, they're going to be living down the street and, uh, you know, walking the streets. And by the way, we're going to be paying for them. Yeah, what about that? Don't want to live yeah, in yeah, yeah. I know. And that's I mean, that, uh, no one has said that. And that's not a responsible thing to say. Um, but it is the truth that the Democrats joined with the Republicans in the Senate to vote this down because they don't want them in their own backyard. Uh, and 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 that is, I mean, that is that is unfortunately what he's facing. Those members of Congress, they represent their own constituents. They are not elected to help the, Demo the, the Democratic president, the president from their own party. They're elected to pre protect their own and serve their own constituents' interests, and they don't want to take this on. Heidi is at the 32nd spot on the campaign trail. Joe Smith brought terrorists back into our state. You don't want to vote for him. Is that what it's all about? 
Of course, it's always about politics, but it's beyond that. I'm just wondering why anybody thinks these terrorists deserve to come back to America. They're, we're already spending money, by the way, to keep them in Guantanamo. They're getting three squares a day. But the reality is... Because we can understand. try them in a federal court, Heidi. That's what that's all about. I just had three senators talk about that tonight. We want to give well, them justice. We want to bring them through the system. Do you want to try them overseas? I don't want them on this on the soil. I really don't. I don't think we should have brought that Somali pirate how back here either. Expect, Try I, I want Heidi to else. answer. How do we expect in this country for other nations to take some of these detainees if we're saying that we won't? This is baloney. And the Democrats just lost their heads last night. What we're hearing is, I hope at least, they might have been hearing some sense tonight. All right, let's no, play. No, they're smarter than we are. That's why they won't take them back. They know who their kinsmen are, and they don't want them back. And we're dumb enough to try to take them. How crazy is that? All right, we will continue. Stay with us, panel. Great shots tonight. Coming up.